to start off, I came in at two years old. Um, my parents did political asylum. We're from Mexico. The person who did it was a notary. They just they did a whole mess with my parents' case and my case. Uh -huh. We ended up going to court and we um, went up against a really tough judge who unfortunately gave us voluntary departure to all three of us. This was back in 98. Um, during that time, my uncle, that's a U.S. citizen, petition for my mom my dad and myself so we got the 245i back in that time mm. the thing was we never left um then time passed now as an adult i got married to a u.s citizen and we have three kids and um the thing is that since i still have that voluntary departure that we never left he already went ahead and then he petitioned for the spousal petition um i got approved for it but the thing is the lawyer that we have now he went ahead and he did the um motion to reopen and close is that what it's called yes okay yes. but we haven't heard nothing from that since december of last year i was just wondering how long more so would that take to get a response from them when did when was that filed december of last year and that that included evidence of your marriage of course yes, marriage everything yeah the, the, the only thing that they have approved right now is just the spousal petition that's it uh, and then i don't know if i can take um you know advantage of this new you know law that just came into place or it's going to go into place did your um did your attorney have a chance to attempt to contact the Department of Homeland Security? He did. Attorney? He did, but they said that because of the whole COVID thing that they're still really backed up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's likely the case. We have some cases like that as well. Yeah. Did you say that was California? California, yeah. LA. Oh, yeah, they're backlogged. They're some super of them are backlogged. Um, I haven't spoken to my attorney as of recent, but I was just wondering, can I take advantage of this? Can this somehow benefit me in any way? um yes if you can get um get this reopened okay so this is yeah this is what we call so if anyone else is, has a similar situation if you can hear Lizette's story if you have a court case from a long time ago order of removal or voluntary departure mm -hmm. basically any kind of order from a judge yeah immigration judge you want you still need to get that reopened and dismissed if possible so regardless yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was a minor. I was around twelve years old oh. back in nineteen ninety eight when that happened. Did you? I think you said earlier two forty five I from your uncle or something. Uh, yes, from my uncle because he petitioned for us back in ninety eight, and um, it implied okay. for myself and my parents. Gotcha. Yeah, because and so yeah, because even though you had the petition, so anyone else is could be wondering a different similar question, but like. Like, oh, how come the court won't reopen? You got yeah. the petition approved. It's because of jurisdiction is what okay. we call it. The The next application is the 485, which okay. you're probably familiar with. USCIS cannot, is not legally allowed to um, approve that or even make any decision when there's a court order. Okay. So that's all right. Well, I'm hoping that there's some type of good outcome to all of this because we've just <laughs> waited yeah, so long. And I had already have my biometrics um, for DACA when they had like yeah. that little open window space open and then the judge blocked it. So they just send them an email. They send us an email saying that we just had to cancel everything because they had shut it down. Oh, you, you filed right in that. Yeah, that right in that time frame when they opened it. Yeah, okay. So um, I couldn't get advanced parole or any of that. It's just like, I, I just want to know more or less, you know, how long this is going to take to get a response from the court, but it's um, like it's yeah, forever. Not, it could be, yeah, it could be for a long time because it's, because it's uh, not an active case anymore, unfortunately. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Keep, keep updated with attorney. I would I say will. at least every six months, minimum. Just six months? Yeah, okay. Minimum. Yeah. He already called, but I guess it's just going to be, you know, contact yeah. and see what they say. Okay, good okay. luck to you. All right, yeah. thank you. Yeah, thank you. Bye-bye.